Hey you guys, welcome back to Drinkity Drinks. Today I am going to be a, doing a direct ca comparison of the Don Julio 1942 versus the Don Julio Anejo. Now the reason I wanted to do this comparison is one, nobody compared it on YouTube. I was looking for a comparison video before so I could see like if it really was worth it because this costs like $150 more than the regular Anejo. Also wanted to do a full review on Don Julio 1942 in itself. Let's take this out the box. Some of you guys seen this bottle before probably even looked at reviews or whatnot okay so these are basically aged the same two and a half years each so i guess this is just the hand selected agave and maybe just special barrels as opposed to this boy it's a big price difference so let's get these things poured up it feels like it's like a little loose compared to this Okay, so color wise, I wanna say the 1942 is darker, but I don't think so. My eyes are probably, they're like the same. I think because they're the same age. I think this is almost like a single barrel type thing. I don't know if it's from a single exact barrel, but it's that type situation. It's just perfectly selected as opposed to this. Whatever is two and a half years, it just starts getting bottled up, mixed and thrown into these. I think I'm gonna start with the regular uh, Anejo first. Yeah, really sweet, citrusy. Need a little bit of water because uh, I just got up from a nap. So this one has that very lime agave smell. This one's like a lighter, a lighter smell, really mellow smelling. So yeah, I just get a little bit of oak, citrusy agave. It's a little bit of sweet honey like caramel in it this is a really good tequila for 50 dollars. it's really good i think it's better than patron because i think patron you get the blanco for around that price i want to say that nejo is more expensive than that now let me try the uh 1942 i want to say sweeter just because it's less citrusy than um than this one than the uh regular nejo yeah it just tastes a lot sweeter you get more like bourbon smells out of it. Like I'm getting more caramel out of it. Less citrusy, like lime smelling flavors that I get from this one. Yeah, it's just a lot sweeter. Like, I don't know, almost like butterscotch or caramel or something. Like I don't get too much citrus on it. Maybe when I breathe in, I get a little bit of the agave. And the oak is at the very end. It's a little bit of dry finish. Now, this one's definitely more bitter and a little bit more um, ethanol-y, but it's not very ethanol -y. It's just more than this one. This one's just tons of smoothness. Yeah, just super sweet. I guess if you want more of the citrus uh, tequila type flavors, you're gonna want this. This has more of the traditional tequila flavors, I think. This one, you could tell it's still tequila. There's notes in there and a little bit like at the end and stuff, but it's just more sweet, caramel, butterscotchy tasting, uh, less ethanol-y. So yeah, I wanna say, uh, man, I wanna say this one is better. It's just different, more different than any tequila that I've tasted. I'm trying to think, yeah, I don't really know. I know there's other sweet tequilas like um, Addictivo and uh, uh, Casa Azul. Like those are more along those type of lines. I don't know if they added something in here to make it sweet like that, but yeah, it's just sweeter notes. Um, so to be what you want, I would pick this one if there was no other tequila that had tequila flavors like that, because um, this has sort of traditional notes that you could get in other tequilas. But I say this one is a bit better. Now $150 better, I don't think it's that much better. Like the way this tastes, I'd say maybe like $80. Yeah, it's a very good $80, close pushing 100, but not that, not $200 worth, I don't think. I think $80 is a great price range for this when you get the box and the bottle like this. That's a really good price range. I don't know, it's not it's not computing with me to be that much expensive. So now we're gonna make a cocktail out of this Don Julio 1942 so that we can fully give it a review after that. I found this cocktail online. It's called, uh, it's actually called the Old Fashioned Recipe, and they said it's the best cocktail for this specific um, tequila. So I'm gonna get the stuff together and then we can um, make this uh, cocktail real quick. It's it's made with two and a half ounces of Don Julio 1942, uh, three dashes of Angostura bitters, and uh, 
half ounce of this agave simple syrup. Here's the Angostura bitters. And then just a little lemon zest. So it's basically like an old fashioned. It's just made with the, um, it's just made with agave syrup as opposed to simple syrup. Just add a, a little lemon. Probably gonna be good because it's not taken away from the tequila so much with a bunch of additives. Like you make a tequila sunrise, you're not gonna taste that. It smells really good. That's good, it's like a sweet treat. And it kind of, oh, it's this agave, that's why. I was gonna say it kind of brings out more of the tequila agave flavor. That's because you have the syrup in it. It's like pretty dang sweet though. That's why I kind of I like making these cocktails. If I like them, like I do like this one, I put a little less agave uh, syrup in it. At least for me, I don't like stuff being that sweet. I want to taste this more. I do taste it, but it is a little sweet. But it is really delicious. Like this is a really, really good drink. I like it. I'm going to taste this a little more and come up with a score for this. This is a really, really good drink. So sweet and delicious. And yeah, this is a really, really good drink. I really like that drink. <sighs> that is a good tequila. I'm going to have to give it like an 8.5. That's a really good tequila. 8.3, 8.5. Mm, I'll go with an 8.3. I'll give this tequila an 8.3. It's really, really good. And the, the only thing that hinders it is the price. If this was $80, it'd be like a higher price. The value does come into play, but it still is kind of up there because you can find this thing like a lot of places. It's not that hard to find. It's a really good tequila. Really, really good. And so is this one. So especially if you want to even make a mix. I know some people just drink it straight, but we're drinking margaritas out of this one. It was makes a great margarita. So yeah, that about wraps it up. Finally, you guys can see the difference between both of these tequilas. This is great. I would say if only you wanted to try it, then get it. But I just get this one all day. I mean, you could get three of these with the taxes in it. Probably four. Yeah, I think about four of these, depending where you shop for the price of this. I guess it's a no brain. I would just take these. You could probably still make this drink with this and it'll be good. I'm sure you can. I definitely would try it. It's like really good as opposed to just having a margarita, have one of these. This is delicious. I'd say stick to this one unless, you know, price isn't an option then get that one but it's different it's a more sweeter tequila like sweeter you get sweeter different notes so yeah that's a, that about wraps it up till next time you have yourself a drink drink with someone you love